This is Lynn Christian. I'm the medication safety pharmacist here at the uh, Regional Medical Center. I'm going to talk to you today about medication safety. So why is medication safety important? It's important because we care. We want to get the right dose of the right medication to the right patient at the right time every time. And that can get challenging when we do it between 9 and 10,000 times per day. That's right, we dispense between 9 and 10,000 doses of medication from the pharmacy here at the Regional Medical Center. We have systems in place to accomplish that goal of getting it right every time. Those systems are very complex. They rely on a lot of people and a lot of technology that work, to work perfectly every time. But machines break, people fail, and those systems don't work perfectly every time. Regardless of our best efforts, medication errors will occur. Vince Lombardi said, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Medication safety is chasing perfection. A perfect medication use system is an impossible goal. However, our challenge is to make that system as close to perfect as we can and to minimize the impact of the errors which do occur. Medication safety begins with each of you. The hospital or pharmacy can create a culture of safety and implement safe designs and safe systems and processes, and without you choosing to take care of patients safely, all of that is doomed to fail. Medication safety is a choice, a series of behaviors, something each of us decides to do. Our choices that we make repeatedly determine how we practice every day. The best system will not prevent errors from occurring if the person using the system chooses unsafe behaviors. In other words, we can have a very safe car, however, if we choose to drink and drive, then we can expect to be in an accident. So why should we practice medication safety? Society ex expects us to. From a consumer standpoint, we have the hospital report cards, the quality initiatives. We have professional licensure standards. If we engage in repeated unsafe behaviors, we can lose that license. In the legal system. There's the civil uh, tort system, lawsuits, and the criminal system. Why should we practice medication safety? Because we want to take care of our patients. The concept for physicians is primum non nocere, or first do no harm. So what are some of the good choices that we can make to practice medication safety? Take a look at this page with the medication safety strategies on it. First. Read the label three times. Whenever you do that, uh, you'll pick whenever you pick the dose up, when you prepare the dose, and when you check the dose. When in doubt, check it out. If you've checked something and you have doubts about it, pick it up and look at it again. Also a helpful tip is verify your dose if it takes more than three dosage forms. If it takes more than three tablets, three capsules, three vials to make up your single dose, then look at it. That's a pretty good indication indication that the dose may be an error. Avoid distractions. Interruptions are killers. Also, don't use the unsafe abbreviations. Probably the ones that we see used most commonly are U and IU. IU with vitamin E, vitamin D. Uh, also, QD. The reason these abbreviations have been determined to be unsafe is that each of these abbreviations has shown up repeatedly in medication error reports. Take a look at this page with this year's National Patient Safety Goals. The National Patient Safety Goals were originally devised in 2002 and went into effect in 2003. Over the years, as goals have been achieved, they have been retired or moved into the Joint Commission standards, and new goals have been uh, brought to the top. The ones we're looking at um, most closely are the ones associated with the safe medication use. The first one involves labeling the medications during surgery and during procedures. The second one, safe use of anticoagulant medications. And the third one, commonly known as medication reconciliation, is about communicating information about a patient's medication before, during, and after the admission. Turn to the next uh, couple of pages where you have some examples uh, and some tips for order writing. The um, ma major points on here, write legibly. Don't use those unsafe abbreviations we just looked at. 
make sure you date and time all your entries uh, in the medical record on the left-hand margin. Uh, write complete orders so that way your information is clearly communicated. Remember to have your orders countersigned. For multiple orders at the same time, number each new order. And remember, with the orders and with progress notes, the newest orders and newest notes are on top. Just like Mom said, leave it like you found it. If there's an order flag, flag it back whenever you finish with the chart. You have appropriate uh, designations for signing the orders. Um, and uh, ask a pharmacist if you have questions about which one of those to use. After you write an order, make sure that you flag the order in the chart uh, and leave it uh, for the unit secretary in the appropriate location. Take a look at this page, and it has some examples of how to correctly write orders. Um, again, welcome to DCH.